hey guys welcome back to this video and in my last video linked on the top right i spoke about how we can run lints on our code for all the files which are staged on git right we were using the lint staged along with npm module husky to run my php linter or php cs formatter to format all the files which had changes and which i am staging to git now in this video what i am going to do is show you how github actions work which allows us to run um how do you say certain workflows through which i can test the commit which i have just pushed so just to give you an idea of of how things work this is my list of commits and you can see there is a check mark over here which basically means that all my tests are passing how do i do that i have an alias pu which is basically if i go into my server folder i can do vendor bin php unit right and it will run all the uh, test tests which i have created now i mean in, on my master branch there are quite a few i'll just uh, go to my master branch because development is kind of outdated right now okay i'm on my master branch and i do p u and there are about four tests and five assertions okay still not too many but yeah what i want to do is i want these tests to be executed whenever i make a push on github and github will tell me whether those tests are passing or not a check in green means they are passing and this kind of a red means they failed i mean these were not actually failing i was configuring my workflow so some of them are still there however yes if you get something wrong or you break something you will immediately know and even on github you get notifications telling you that you know your pipelines or your actions have certain problems and a little bit of data to show you this is how things work okay it does certain kinds of jobs before it completes and as you can see there's a setup job which you know sets things up for example in here i have you know this version which set us, sets up the virtual environment okay it checks out my code then after checking out my code it you know looks for certain kind certain versions of php th so on and so forth so now exactly what we are doing let's look at that file so how do you how do you basically create your workflow using github actions how do you do that so the basic idea is inside the root of your folder right inside the root where you have the dot git folder right you create a github slash workflows folder and in that you create a yml file now those who have worked with gitlab you will be quite familiar with uh, a ci gitlab ci yml similarly here we deal with um, yml's as well for github so let's go inside it the name of my a uh, workflow is api server tests and hence if you see if i go to my actions you see api server tests so that's the name which i own i have decided that these will run on push and on pull requests the job is a test runs on the ubuntu latest so this is an image which we will get with uh, github okay the strategy is fail fast which means something if it fails it will stop matrix is my php version is 7.3 dependency version is preferred stable this is a name which i have taken from i think one of the spatty codes you know for example i haven't you know um, done it from scratch I couldn't do that but yeah uh, you know it is always a good idea to look at others code when it is already you know working so i have checkout code it checks out user uh, uses the action slash checkout at v1 okay um, caches the dependencies 
then it sets up php so you know and it also added adds these packages i am using curl mb string zip uh, one important thing is pdo and sql light pdo sql light as well because while running the tests we will use the in memory sql light database to run the tests and the migrations for those tests okay once the install installation of dependencies starts what we do is we i cd into cd server if your git folder is directly inside the laravel codebase folder you don't need to do that i am doing it because my code structure is a little different i have on my root a client and a server and the laravel codebase is inside the server however if you are doing it on a laravel codebase you can skip this line okay rest everything remains the same just remove this now i copy the env.example as an env file we will need this to run all those commands which will be executed after we do the composer install so i install all the packages on the environment which has been created so far right once that is done right we execute the tests we cd into the server again we touch a file which is database slash database dot sklite this is our sklite database file i run key generate it is important because the env file which we have just copied right it doesn't have that uh, app key and that app key is required for a lot of uh, laravel you know, code so we generate that key we migrate and then we run our php unit so now go back look at this workflow thing and you will see we can relate certain things with our yml file so name checkout code cache dependencies we have checkout code cache dependencies set up php install dependencies now if i expand it right uh, i'm not sure if it will expand yes you can see it did a run cd server and then it installed all the composer dependencies right it did that okay it ran 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 discovered all these packages you know package manifest generated successfully then we go into the execute tests we cd into this folder we create this file we do a key generate right and then we do php artisan migrate once we do this php artisan migrate right all those database tables were created and then we ran our tests we have four tests and five assertions that's exactly what we have in our master branch right now and then these two things are part of github again where it uh, removes certain cache dependencies and all those stuff so yeah that's how you can set up workflows on github using actions where you can run your tests every time you push a code or and it is very important when someone is submitting a pr or a pull request because you need to know even before you know you pull that code into your um, repository that the code which is coming is basically not breaking something on your repository because once you get that in right you need to <clears throat> maintain that code once you have created a pull request you will have to sustain that code till the lifetime of your repository and hence it is very important that you know upfront whether this is breaking any code or not so in those situations these actions will definitely help you a lot so yeah that's about it that's how i added github actions to my project so yeah that's how i added actions on github to my project uh, i had that you know php unit automation done so if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel